Okay, this is the next update. Uh, this is my plastering station where I get plastered. No, I'm just kidding. And uh, over here, we are got a Lego situation. Um, we're printing a nice big suburban house here. I just like the house. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. Uh, I failed, the print failed before. Uh, we're trying it again with a thicker infill, so should work this time. And the garage goes on the other section there, the blank of the base plate, and it'll print separately. And it had a problem in the breezeway where it, it fell, so they could, I, I don't know how to get the thing to not have, or to have supports. I'm not an expert yet, so um, I'm just taking it in here because I completely organized this room finally. Um, got all the Lionel temporarily up here. There's another boatload of it to pick up. I haven't been able to go. Um, so you can kind of see what I use these carts for from the N-Scale modules um, when they're not set up. So the rumpus room as we call it, we got it set up for Lego right now, not N scale, and basically made it so that this space is all organized. I've got one, if you remember, they were out here just temporarily. I, this closet bottom is the next thing to not look like that. It has to have some sort of shelves in there. This stuff is generally gonna get stored there. It's some of my tools some of it could go in the garage probably so i worked on cleaning this shelf off and there was a pile of stuff that just gets thrown there so that's finally there i got the stairs glued and printed i still got to do the railings for them for the water slide really happy with that how that came out and over here uh not an update too much on this side, but I've been clearing this off because this was a catch-all kind of area. I've still got more to go, obviously, but uh, it takes time. There was just, things were kind of a mess. I've been in this conductor training and I finally passed last night, um, got that all out of the way, done all my exams. So now I'm a qualified conductor for CPKC so basically I can put my life back together at home because it's been lots of studying and craziness that way so um, I'll take you over to what I did manage to get some time to to do so over here from that same file that I bought on Colts 3D uh, there's a alien UFO saucer crashed into a rock so i printed it in brown and then i painted the saucer silver that's in it and it actually has a little door that's open and there's a spot to put a light in the bottom and then i put some cinders in the middle and some darker navajo brown on top so this here i gotta repair the area a little bit but um this is just i'll show you That's, that's how it prints. So really neat little thing. So when you're looking at it, it looks like it's half in the ground and it's skidded on there. So that's kind of the scene that's coming together. I printed another one of those and I got to hang them up flying. Then I've got a whole bunch of, as you've been paying attention, tanks and um, military trucks and all that sort of jazz to put in this scene. I want it to be basically open but just little uh, you know ufo crash vehicles and stuff so uh and then over here uh this is what the plaster station accomplished so we've got plaster now all the way around the bottom up to where i had finished last time now some of this like here i want to do just another thin layer just just on this section because this is the last part that got done as the plaster was setting up so you kind of rush up here probably one more little bit on this end same sort of thing 
this part here going forward is fine. So um, basically, uh, uh, and probably another skim coat on here. There wasn't quite enough. So get that done. And then under here, last video, um, it was plaster cloth. I still have to do more on this section, um, but that's as far as I got with the batch. So a little bit more over this area, but you see how it's coming together. So that's basically the update. That's what I got done, um, refurbishing this scene. I don't know if I showed it in the last video, but that's those USB LEDs that, that I mount underneath uh, these little houses. So we'll work on the road and uh, whoops, painting the uh, rocks on here next. Uh, excuse me and then on this top section we'll get plastered and I'm going to have back here where this disaster is I want to have the track start climbing again with a switch in the back there you can see my giant finger uh, and then somehow going up to a mine here and then build kind of another mountain as you can kind of see it's penciled on the wall so or two so that's how this is going to come together because if you look it's just all flat uh, there has to be more mountains like there is on these walls so um all right i will i will leave it at that there'll be some there'll be some more updates uh probably a lionel update coming at some point and uh we'll take it from there got lots of cleaning done got lots of plastering done and uh this giant thing will get plaster clothed at some point and this s here so all right guys have a good have a good one we'll talk to you soon